Hey, this is Grab and Go Advice. We are going to play, teach you how to play Kings on the Corner. We're going to deal out nine cards each. And if you want to check out another card game I taught, it's, uh, or we taught, it's Canasta. I'm going to let you see my hand as we play. She's going to take four cards and put them on the corners uh, here. Hold on one second. If you pull over a king, a king is going to go in the corner. That's why it's called Kings on the Corner. So this is great. Now, if we didn't have that king, it would look like, it would simply look like this. And I'm going to do it this way. Okay. All right. So because she, we did turn up a king, a king goes in the corner. All right. So here is my, I'm going to let you guys see my hand. Not you. <laughs> and I'm going to let her go ahead and go first since I'm going to try to organize my cards. And I always start from this way. I always draw first. So she just drew a card, and you don't have to lay off. But you see how she's moving that around? She saw an eight. She moved it here. Now, the only rule that we have here with moving the cards is that if this were a red nine, she couldn't do it. You have to rotate colors, and the numbers cannot go up. So you couldn't put a 10 here. It has to go down, has to be descending, and opposite colors. So the next card that'll go here will be a black uh, seven. And if you get a king, a king goes in the corner. King's on the corner. And you can keep moving them around. You see how she did that? It's black, red, black, red, going down. And the object of this game is to run out of cards. Ever who runs out of cards first is a winner. And I am trying. I'm so bad about taking my time on this thing. But it always helps if you have your cards lined up like this because it will actually speed up the process in which you play. You know, you know what you have. Go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw because even if I can lay off, I'm going to have to draw anyway. And then I'm going to look around and see if I have anything I can use You don't here. have to lay off. If you can't do anything, you can't do anything. Um, or if you're just holding, you're holding. I actually don't have anything I can use here, but I can take this and lay it down. In the, and it's called Kings on the Corner, so see how that goes. But and then with that, and with this, I'm going to be able to lay down these two and that one there, so... Let's see. And that's as far as I go down. Now, if I had a red nine, just if, I could have put a red nine here and I could have moved these there. Or you could have held it. And that would have given me a spot to lay cards off. If you wanted to. All right, your turn. And there's two more kings that are outstanding, and they will go in those spots. Okay. Let's see. Actually, I've got that. That's all I can do. Your turn. Your turn. Go. I learned to play Kings on the Corner, goodness, when I was, your turn, when I was in college. That's when I learned how to play Kings on the Corner. Um, we had so much Go. fun. It's, if you play with four people, the game goes by a lot quicker, obviously, because you got so many people. Your turn. So it's more fun actually with Go. two or three people. Uh, your turn. And see by having them in, in order, I can quickly look and see, you know, what would be really bad is if in this tutorial, if you guys see what I can do and I don't see it. And that has happened. 
Not in a tutorial, but sometimes I have missed cards. Usually it's if I get to talking or something too much. Like when we have three or four people play, there's more conversation at the table. Although we still have conversation with two. It's just with four people, it's nonstop. Plus, there's usually some snacks involved. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know they make a new macaroni and cheese that has that flavor of cheese on it? Mmm, -hmm. that would be good to try. Alright, yeah, hurry up. I'm thinking. We're doing a tutorial, girl. Well, you can still think. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of time on my video. <laughs> All right, you're finished? Yep. Okay, always draw your card. And I see what I can do right there with what she has. Can't do red on red. Oh, goodness. I meant to pull the other one out. No, I know you have I did one. notice it, though. Mm. All right, your turn. That's all? Mm, yeah. Now, see, I just missed this right here. Oh. But if I kind of hold it up in my hand a little bit, like if I just kind of do that, then I know that yeah, next time when it comes around to me, I've got these three. Aha, uh -huh, I've got that one too. And guess what, people? I can move this jack over here. Do you see that? Remember the idea is to get rid of all your cards. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> I'll fix it. And then, hold on, I've got this whole set. Okay. So I've got the three, the two, and the ace. And... Now, what's a fun thing is I can take this card here and move that. And that's what I'm going to do because anytime I can move, I'm getting rid of cards that are in my hand. Anytime I can, you know, switch something around like that. Even this, I can switch. See that jack? The only rule is the cards have got to descend. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and lay... Oh this one down here. All right, your turn. Okay, well, first thing I noticed is instead of laying this one down, you could have picked this one up. Oh, I missed that one. And, and then I would have, have had started that set. A whole new row. I probably would have been out. But you didn't. I so did. So let's close this one off. Okay, go ahead and go, and I'll do this one. So, what we usually do is this so you can tell which king it is. You know, we've got the king. <clears throat> right there. And we're still missing these two kings. But there is a strategy, people. And a strategy being that if it's your turn and you want to block people from making uh, moves and you have an ace, you know, you lay an ace here because, boom, they can't do much. Like that ace is stopping us. Until we can use that ace, that's a place we can't utilize for any cards. So she is another king. She put it in that corner. We played recently with my husband and he drove me nuts because he kept, he had like three kings in his hand. Three kings. And every time he had an ace, he would plug something off. So we couldn't move these cards around because there were no kings. It took forever to end that game. So there is a little strategy that you can add to the game. Now she laid that too so she could flip the ace over there. That was smart. All right, got it. Now I only have two cards left, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to get a pistachio because you're taking so much time. Oh, it's going to be very mm. These pistachios are good. Yes. Let's see. 
Your turn. You got to keep it going. Oh. Your turn. And remember keeping that in order speeds up the game. Some people don't know that, but. And we're really playing faster than we normally do just to try to make this video for you people. So she's able to move that jack you don't have a lot of room. over there. And from what we see, it just goes to a seven. So we're going to need to put a red six there. Oh, wow. I've got four cards now, and she's down to just a few. Two. What's she going to put down? Thinking. And I don't know if I if you guys have seen this lately or not, but I have lost a little bit of weight, just a little bit, um, by the fact that I do like sweet drinks and I shouldn't. But I always have a water bottle beside it, and, and my goal is to drink more water, you know, like a whole water to just a few sips of this. And truly, we no one should drink sodas, but. It's a habit that I got into years ago before we realized how bad for you they really are. And back when my metabolism was a whole lot better. Your turn. I was going to say, oh, it's your back card. Nope. Check people in my hand. Let's see. Okay, I can lay this one down. Oh. And I can move these over here. You know, one time I was playing with some people and they did not believe me that there's actually a game called Kings on the Corner. That's very true. That's very true. They're like, you know, you just made this game up or something. I'm like, no. There's a game called Kings on the Corner. And they Googled it. Uh, let's and they see. Thought, Ooh, it look at this. And I can move these over here. And then you're out. No, I'm not out yet. Yeah. Ah. So close. Close. So close. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I you did have to that, take that so. card because you saw it. Wow. I saw them both. Okay, well, it's my go. I got a thing. It's my go. You just, it's, I just drew. You can't go again. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You just drew again, and I, no, it's no. my turn. Stop. You're cheating. It's not, you are. Wait. You, no, you can't rewatch the video. You we cheated. will rewatch the video, okay, but, but I didn't my, go. Stop. You just did. No. I just drew, and then you just automatically rewent twice. That makes no sense. You can rewatch the video. It's my go. <laughs> we're gonna rewatch this. <coughs> we're gonna rewatch this video because yes. I see you're almost out of cards. No, I'm out. Oh, that's why you wanted to go. Well, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at this video. And we'll let you minutes. know in the description that I was right. But I'm for right now. I just want to continue finishing up. And if you have two or two or more players, finish up and see who comes in second place. I just want to see how quickly I can go out. Yeah, it would have been on that it. turn. You see that? I know. That's this why you it. wanted to go, but you Mount. skipped. It was an honest mistake. No. Uh -huh. All right, here you go. Kings on the corner. And if you want to see how they would really finish out, you have to see. So six, five. We have six here. So six. Here, five, four, three, two, A. Well, people, the game ended. She won. I came in second place, but she two, just likes to go ahead and finish the whole set. Four, three, two, A, right here. And, and then that it. way, when you go to reshuffle, they get, they get, and that's way it's black and green. I mean, red. And that way it shuffles nicely. Yeah, and if you're playing a second game, you really have to shuffle shuffle well. Oops. That was lousy. I, I'm a decent shuffler. Yeah. Let me try this again. Uh, you messed up twice. 
All right. I mean, we just like really try to shuffle this. these things well. Because when you play that second game, you have to have it shuffled or it's not going to, you know, people are just going to go right through those and the game is going to be over quick. All right. It's grab and go advice. Playing kings on the corner. Have a great have a day. Nice day.